Worksheet number nine for the academic decathlon. And we're going to work with linear, quadratic, and exponential models. So uh, some very advanced algebra one, mostly algebra two. Linear is algebra one. Quadratic, you get introduced uh, <coughs> to those quadratic equations in algebra one. And then exponential growth, decay models are typically found in algebra two. But uh, let's, <coughs> sorry, let's determine if the following are best represented by a linear, quadratic, or exponential function. So uh, if it's linear, we're going to notice that the increments will be the same. Now, the important thing is that, whoops, that didn't work very well. These are not going by one, but they're plus three, plus three plus three. So that's okay. That's still, that needs to be consistent. And then this is going to be plus, uh, excuse me, that's going to be minus 15. That's minus 15. And that's minus 15. So that's a linear increment. If we also plotted this on a, uh, on a graph, we would notice that it would create a linear equation uh, or a line. So could we do this? Mm. We can go by fives, I guess, sure. Um, so uh, zero, zero, that's easy. Um, three, uh, negative 15, so that would be right here. And uh, negative three, positive 15 would be here. And then uh, six, so that's five, six, negative 30, 20, 25, 30. So that looks like a straight line, we have a constant slope. So what we're really looking at is this, is that they're constant. So that would be considered a linear data set. Since foxes have left the area, the number of rabbits in the field have doubled every three weeks. Now this is kind of tricky. So if we had to do this is weeks and rabbits. So uh, I guess we'll do zero, zero. After one week, they would double. I guess they would have to be one. Two would be double. Three would be four. Uh, oh, doubled every three weeks, sorry. <laughs> sorry, every three weeks. So that's three, that's six. That's nine. Let's do 12 is eight. Let's do 15 is 16. And so if we look at that increment, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. And here we go plus one, plus one, plus two, plus four, plus eight. So that's going to be quadratic. Um, that is, or excuse me, exponential, because you have two, four, eight, and if we go to the next one, uh, <clears throat> that would be 18, which is plus three, but this would be 32, so that's plus 16. So this is, um, this would be two to the zero, two to the one, two to the second, two to the third, two to the fourth to the fourth is equal to 16. So this is actually exponential growth. Because we see it working exponentially. Um, yeah, that would be a good one. The path followed by a ball that is thrown from an outfield to home. So um, that looks like this, and that is parabolic. So that's going to be exponential, uh, not exponential, it's going to be quadratic, excuse me, quadratic, because it looks like a uh, upside down uh, parabola. And that would have an A value of negative, which turns it upside down. Parabola typically looks like this, where A is positive, well, you have a positive A, and upside down would be a negative A. In the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So that is a quadratic equation. Um, and uh, that would 
have the, the form of a parabola. So that is plus 3, that's plus 3, that's plus 3. This is plus 18. Woo! That's minus 18. That is minus 54. Wow, that's all over the place. Ah, it's flipping back and forth. Um, right, minus 18. That is minus 54. That's, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Ah, I see that. Because 6 is even, 3 is odd. So that is an interesting one. If we graph that, what does that look like? Uh, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 18. Well, let's go by 5s again. Let's do this. Let's go increments of 5. So uh, negative 3, 0 is going to be here. 0, 5, 10, 15, 18 is going to be here. 3, 0. Yeah, so it looks like a parabola. Uh, 6, oh, negative, that's why it's negative 54. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 40, 45, 50, 4. So that's 6 is going to be on that side. So, yeah, so that looks like a parabola. So I would say that that is quadratic. Would be my. Um, ooh, so twelve one third two nine two forty three two forty three. What's two forty three? Two forty forty three square root. No, let's do the cube root. I feel like it's a cube root. Two four three cube root. Huh. Okay, so two forty three. Why is I feel like 243. It's not a square root? Okay. No. 243. How about a fourth root? No. How about a fifth root? 243. Oh, to a sixth root. See that? Let's do a sixth. No. Only reason I said six was because of the six. In the X. Um, hmm. 243. I feel like that's a. <clears throat> well, let's. Oh, let's do the prime factorization. 243. So 3 goes into that 81. Yes. Oh, it's the fifth. Sorry. 3 to the fifth? 243. And I skipped the fifth. I was about to go there and I went to the sixth. There you go. All right. So this is equal 3 to the 5th. That's 3 to the 5th. That's 3 to the 2nd. That is 3 to the negative 1. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's, it's going to be negative something. Uh, 3 to the... Negative 3rd? Nope. Let's do 3 to the negative fourth. Ah, I forgot my negative, sorry. Where did I get my negative? There's my, oh, there's my plus minus. Um, what did I say? Three to the negative, no, oh, shoot. I'm, I don't like how that must be updated. Three to the well, what's that increment? So that is, uh, yeah, so this is 5 is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus, so negative 2. 3 to the negative 2. So th 3 to the negative 2. Hmm, it doesn't equal 3 to the negative 2. Oh, maybe that's negative 4 because it's minus 1. Uh -huh. Minus 1 would be 3 to the negative 4. I'm going to say it's 3 to the negative 4. Let's go. Come on, baby. 3 to the 4 negative. Yeah, okay. Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh. Yeah, that's 3 to the negative 4. So we're going to say that this is exponential. This is exponential. 
how do you know that? I don't know how we figured that out. I just see, I mean, I saw it and then, you know, that's just going to be uh, y equals uh, 3 to the y minus 1. I think it's y minus 1. Oh, no, uh, x minus 1, excuse me. X minus one would be the formula. And it's exponential because our variable, our X, is up in the as an exponent. So that I do know. Quadratic, I don't know what that formula is. We would plug it in and it would uh, we would there's probably some way I don't know. Uh, we know that that's parabolic. You know this is exponential, so to oh no, rabbits, yeah, double that's not they didn't give us data, but that one would be exponential. That would be the formula. I do know that. So I'm confident with that. Uh, the water in the pool has increased at a rate of five cubic meters per minute. That seems very linear. Um, so uh, water in the pool has increased at a rate of five cubic meters per minute. Yeah, I'd say that that's linear. So after one minute uh, at zero, it's zero. At one, it's five. At two, it's 10. At 3, it's 15. It's increasing by 5. That's increasing by 1. Increasing by 1, that's by 5. So that's constant. It's got a constant slope. So that's going to be linear. That one's easy, even though it's cubic meters. Uh, what type of equation is shown? I would assume that that is linear. It looks like linear because everything's to the first power, but we got to make sure. Let's solve. Uh, add 3x, add 3x, 2y equals 10x plus 1, divide everything by 2, you get y equals 5x plus 1 half, that is a linear equation that can be written in y equals mx plus b, so that has a constant slope. Um, Let's do this, y equals negative 3x squared plus 9x plus 12. That is in a quadratic formula, ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's going to be quadratic. And come on, exponential, yeah. So we see again, our variable is uh, a, um, what is the, a, B to the X? Is that what the template is? What the, what the, let's see what the exponential template would be. Exponential template. What's the most basic exponential? Uh, A, B, yeah, okay, A to the B. Hmm. Images, so. Uh, exponential m to the m n. Hmm. Don't know if that answers my question. Yep, logarithms. So logs are an easy way. E, y equals a to the x. Okay, so yeah, y equals a to the x. So that was what it is. Y equals a to the x, not a b to the x. Sorry. So we were close. We were close, very close. So the parent would be y to the ax. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so this would be exponential. Because it sits in that form. All right. Uh, that's it. It was a quick one. Um, you might want to do a little research. We got some problems on him. But... Uh, this is, I'm able to do those sort, sort of more through because they fit that parent equation. So we have y equals mx plus b, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and then we have y equals a to the x. So those are the three parent equations.